Hi, good day. This is Michael with Iconesis. Today we'll be shooting a real-time workflow video of a auto part in 360. Uh, the first thing we're going to see here is a live view. Our camera is connected via USB to our computer and we're going to have full control over all our camera settings including shutter speed, aperture, white balance, and sensitization. Um, so what we want to do in this step, and what you're seeing as I make these changes, this is a real-time preview that will simulate exposure. I'm working with a Canon Rebel T6S camera, so just an entry-level DSLR. And uh, again, as I make the changes, we're going to see kind of the results in real time. So we've optimized our exposure. The next thing that I see is it looks a little bit blurry. So what I can actually do is zoom in and start to adjust my focal point through mouse clicks. And as you see, I click these little arrows here to drive the lens focal point and I can choose a focal point and that looks pretty good there so let's go ahead and zoom out and let's take a kind of a quick test shot um, I'm going to enable my crop define a crop area and then I'll hit my snap button and overall that's looking pretty good that's an image kind of instantly on a pure white background we're working with a LumiPad 360 lighting setup so we're going to move from this step now into our 360 kind of image capture process. I will hit the 360 button up in the top right hand corner. I'm going to select my turntable. We're working with the Iconesis Silver mid-series turntable and I want to do a pre-rotate. And in this step what I want to do is ensure that my object is spinning kind of on axis, you know, relatively in the center of the turntable. Also as my object rotates, as you see there, I would have missed the side of this auto part. Um, so I'm going to adjust my crop just to ensure that it's not falling outside this crop area as it rotates 360. Okay, so it looks like we're doing a pretty good job here. What I'm going to do is stop it where I want the first frame to be. We do have a few different options inside of here. Um, the turntable speed, we can adjust this via a slide bar. Uh, we can also go ahead and nudge the turntable if we want using this button here. Um, I won't dive into that stuff too much. We do have a lot of good information on our web page regarding that. Um, the next thing we'll do is choose our turntable capture direction clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise will be fine. And then the last thing that we want to do is choose our number of frames. So for instance, in this example, I want to shoot 60 images. That'll be, uh, I guess, uh, one capture, or sorry, 60 total captures over a 360 degree rotation. Users have the ability to shoot upwards of 8,000 images per 360 if need be. Um, and then the last thing I want to do is just add a slight pre-delay of just half a second. And then I'll go ahead and hit start. And that will automate my image capture workflow in a turn, stop, snap workflow. It is very fast. 60 images should probably only take about two minutes. As you can see, as the images are captured, they're uploaded into the software. Alright, so we've just completed our image capture step. We'll see there's a total of 61 images. Um, what I want to do is just remove that first image. That was just the test shot. And I want to take my 60 images that were shot over the 360 rotation, enter into the editing tool of the Shutterstream 360 software. Alright, now that we have our images in here, we can see some information. These images were shot at about 4675 by 2819. Uh, pretty large images, so our processing will take a little bit longer. Um, what we want to do is inspect these. We can see here in RGB I've selected the color selector tool and we can see this is instantly shot on a pure white background. Um, nonetheless, just to kind of communicate some features here, I'm just going to show you a couple little tools. So maybe we want to adjust our levels. Just a tad, add a little contrast back in, increase our sharpness a tad. Um, there's a lot of different tools inside of here, including some automated background removal where it'll take it from this white background to a transparent background. Um, and then what we can actually do is just hit apply to all, and in the batch process, it'll go through and uh, batch edit the set of images. All right, now that we're done the editing process, let's move forward to uh, the output. So probably what I'm going to do here is 
If I had a barcode scanner, I could scan a SKU number and it would input in here. Let's just pretend this is barcode scan. Uh, pardon me. And what I'm going to do is just choose an output location. And probably what I'll do is just make a new folder with that barcode. And I'll select that folder. What I can choose here as well is to uh, resize. So maybe I want to put all these at, say, 1,200 pixels wide. I will hit OK, and that will batch. All right, now that we've completed our output step, let's go ahead and inspect this folder. And what we'll see in here is a total of 60 images. We're going to want to compose those. So I'm going to open up the included Iconosys 360 View Creator software, batch select these images, and simply drag and drop to create the 360 view. So there we can see the 360 view that was created. These are completely customizable. Uh, another thing to mention that we do have a deep zoom capability where users can go and zoom in and kind of inspect. Um, you can change all the buttons, change the spin direction, location, mouse control direction. Um, a lot of different options at a uh, kind of meta description and title. And then choose the output. So I'm just going to, let me just remove this. I'm just going to put auto part. Maybe we'll put the SKU number there. We'll choose our output location. We'll hit save. Then we have that local file that we can go ahead and uh, upload directly to our server, then embed into our website, and or obviously upload directly to your server and up, uh, embed into your website. If there's any questions, let us know. The company name is Iconosys. We are a manufacturer of do-it-yourself 360 product photography turntables, software, and lighting solutions. Thank you.